Alright, what is up everyone? <clears throat> now I'm here today because I feel it is necessary to make an instructional video for my modifications Skyrim Shadows and FPS Fix and Skyrim No Shadows and FPS Fix. So we'll go ahead and do that today. We're going to get started. Let's go ahead and get into Steam right now. Okay. So we're going to go to my modifications, check out my screenshots if you haven't already. I think you will like them. Okay, let's go with <coughs> the shadow striping fix since I can run that. If not, I do recommend shadow, uh, I'm sorry, Skyrim No Shadows and FPS fix, which is also available on the Steam Workshop. I'm going to go ahead and keep the shadows. Okay, so right up, favorite, subscribe please. Now, what I'm going to do is actually go into ModDB. You can use either of the two links, right? Exact same thing. On ModDB, you just go into Downloads, and you choose the download you want. In this case, there's only one to worry about. It's the full version. You just click Download Now. It's that simple. If it doesn't automatically start, just go ahead and click right here, okay? And it will start downloading for you. Okay, now you might have some sort of smart screen filter or antivirus. That may block it, so in this case I just had to right click and download. Okay, so that should be downloading now. Or not. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I did download. Like I said, you might have problems with that. It happens. Okay, so ignore that now as it did download. <coughs> Again, on Skyrim Forge, it's also very simple. I think it's even easier on Skyrim Forge. You just go right here. Or it says download. And again, you're going to need to do this. Okay, so right here it's telling me it's downloading. You're going to need to do this as I can't upload some of the files to the Steam Workshop. Steam Workshop does package everything, and then and uh, it's a completely different, you know, way of doing things. So I'm not going to be able to do this without these downloads. So you just need to download one of the other, right? Now you just go into your downloads okay and you're gonna want to open one up let's just use the one from mod db okay so it's pretty simple has a readme okay and it's gonna outline everything that we must do this will increase your frame rate this will improve your shadows this will remove striping Okay, now it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy, you don't really have to do anything with any of these files, okay? There's just a few things we need to do. Okay. We're going to Documents here, My Games, and Skyrim, see? And that's where these files will be that we're looking for, okay? These are the two values that we're going to want to change. Right? And we change these settings in our Skyrim prefs .ini. Now, <coughs> if we go back to the original instructions, they tell you where that's located. And they are in your documents, my games, and Skyrim. Okay? So you should just have two. Now these are all my backups. Okay? So a lot of these are R and D. It's a lot of the steps that I took in actually creating this mod. <coughs> As you can see, I have no shadows. Zero, which was uh, a precursor to the actual no shadows mod. Uh, shadows, this is the vanilla settings. Copy of those settings. We we'll also have the actual settings which I am using. Those are the ones that I am using right there. But for this video, I have gone ahead and just replaced in the vanilla any files okay so now that we actually have the other 
information we're gonna go ahead and look at Skyrim Press first okay so <coughs> kind of a lot you need to change you know it's kind of a hassle but all you need to do is just copy and paste a value I mean you can just copy the whole thing if you want and we're gonna look for all of these under the display category okay it's easy okay Skyrim Press you right click on it and edit it okay there you go now we got general image place display right here I blur deferred shadow mask goes from 3 to 30 okay now I know a lot of people you know they they'll say one is better than another but uh, you know for all the work that I did and everything this this works out better okay so it goes from 3000 to 10,000 and your interior shadow distance you don't really um, notice it at 10,000 you know I don't like to notice the shadows loading around me um, <coughs> now you will see it if you look for it but you know 10,000 is fine it's a it's perfect match between you know actual performance and uh, display or visual appeal okay so let's keep going that was F interior shadow distance F shadow distance right here from 8,000 to 10,000 eyeshadow map resolutions now those should be the same Oh yeah, the, sec the secondary one should be changing. Let me make sure here. Interior. Mm, oh, it's, it's the primary. Okay, <coughs> so we just went ahead and knocked that down a little bit to actually half. So you will see that change there. In this modification, I did end up tweaking most of the values. Now, in the Skyrim No Shadows uh, modification, I do also tweak several values, and it's the same thing. You just you find the value that needs to be changed, right? If it's in here, if it's in the instructions, you need to change it, and it's under uh, this category, Display. Okay, the next one is Eyeshadow Split Count, and again, you change it, in the file in your documents right in documents under readme or I'm sorry under my games Skyrim and that's where you'll find <coughs> this folder over here right where I am now and that's what we're gonna edit okay it's the exact same thing on both of the mod this symbol Okay, uh, that did not go down. 1024 on that. I believe this is a 2. Right. Okay, keep going. Now, this is actually where uh, the LOD start fade happens, right? So, I went ahead and made that 0, which is going to help a lot. Uh, should be this one. Shadow LOD start fade, right? Okay, keep going. I shadow mode. Right here. That goes from 3 to 7. We're going to keep uh <coughs> shadows on the trees. You're not going to see a huge decrease in performance on on any of these. So you don't have to worry about that. It will make your game run a lot smoother. Mine runs a lot smoother. I enjoy using the mod. I mean, I love uh, <coughs> the way the light plays off of it, and uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't change any of these settings personally. You can go ahead and tweak these if you want. There are many guides available. Maybe I will make one. Uh, I don't know. Okay, the pre-pass. Okay, now this. <coughs> this option is very important. You actually need to 
keep this on if you have an ENB installed okay so instead of a zero you're gonna wanna put a one right here okay since I do not have an ENB installed I'm just gonna keep the original setting now with the ENB and that actually turned on you are gonna see a decrease in performance however using these settings you should see an overall increase without you know then you would see without it and uh, also the shadows will of course keep the quality that I have actually used so let's see the is that okay yeah again it's very important to have this off if you don't have an ENB and on if you do okay in the case you know of, of using my modification or having performance issues okay <coughs> there's another res resolution <coughs> um option we also have the bias scale which is right here that stayed the same you know sometimes these get changed up so you are going to want to make sure that all of these settings are as included in the instructions okay like I, I noticed some of them are not changing that may be the same with yours you may not however do double check that they are so we have deferred shadows and draw shadows right and those are both the same so we are done there don't want to save that you do want to save these okay so these are the ones that you are actually gonna save now let me go ahead and double check okay don't want to delete anything that I don't want to delete so you just save it just save it boom if it asks you right here say yes you do want to save it and that is done right now we make them read only okay once you have them set as read only the game will no longer change any of these settings so you don't have to keep doing this every time you start Skyrim okay now because of the settings that have been pre-entered into the software <coughs> such as the low the medium the high and the ultra these will change if you don't do this so make sure to make them read me again properties read only okay and you do the same thing for Skyrim okay you just go ahead and open up the modification you downloaded you just go into this one and this one's a lot simpler okay so let's go ahead and crank this one out Skyrim instructions you go into your documents and just edit Skyrim since we already did Skyrim press now I do believe this changes uh, let me see 1024 and the start fade on the shadows let's go down let's double check that now so max start fade and resolution primary and those have both been changed okay so we can close this this one you're going to want to save again pretty straightforward properties and read only press ok and apply now just show you that everything is working I'll go ahead and show you in game you know that this was actually changed and some of the things you'll be seeing okay so we can this is done you're done make sure to make a backup of these as I have you see these are all my backups when I need them I just put them in here you know save these make a backup whatever and uh, so I, I switch in and out you know sometimes I use no shadows in the case of making the no shadows video but anyways make sure you do that this is done you're done you have installed the mod successfully we're just gonna go ahead and double check that okay then I do have SKSE installed so <coughs> and you're not gonna really see it here I mean if you subscribed you know you, you you'll see that right here and you can you can check these you can uncheck them whatever you want and then we'll go right here okay so shadow quality is on medium right so if we put it on ultra we press ok and go back in there it's going to change it again to medium right and that's actually because 
of the modification you just installed. Okay, we set it on read only, and now you cannot change these. So if you ever want to change something, like you want to set everything, you know, to ultra, you know, you can do that. <coughs> um, you just want to actually go into your documents. Okay, my games, Skyrim. You're gonna want to uncheck the read only. Okay, and make sure that's applied. And then after you do that, you change all the settings you want, okay, and save that, okay. So I have all of them set to high. Just press OK, OK, boom, okay. Now because it is no longer read only, it will write those to the text, okay. And once you're done, again, just reinstall the mod. You're gonna have to do that because some values will undoubtedly be changed, okay. And you're gonna want to go back in and double check that all of the values have not been changed and if they have been changed you're going to change them again okay and then once once you do that you just go ahead and make it read only again okay read only apply okay boom and we're done and and those will actually stay that way now right instead of changing like they do <coughs> okay so right now it's not on the highest settings but we'll go ahead and just show you that the modification is working and that there is an FPS increase. For any of you overclockers, I do use GPU tool. It is from Tech Power Up. I definitely recommend it. It's simple to use, it's straightforward, it works on all video cards. Um, do be careful it does have the capability to destroy your card okay it's a uh, powerful it's a powerful tool okay that's for sure uh, you can easily go over there's no limitation to the overclock that you can achieve with this tool so <coughs> be careful again it's not completely done um, but it is very useful um, yeah I do believe this was a pre-release uh, and they never really went through with an actual uh, commercial enterprise I guess but I, I really like it I use it it's nice and again here's another tip for some of you struggling with performance and you know that don't want to run the risk of burning their card overclocking etc here is a small tip because I actually use this you just right click on the Skyrim process and you go to details Okay, now once you get there, it'll show you right here, you right click on it again, set priority, and just go ahead and set it to high. You know, real time can give you some problems sometimes depending on your rig, so I even always use high, okay? You go ahead and change priority, and you can exit out of here, <coughs> and you'll see an increase in the performance of your game. So let's see, where was I? Okay, since my last video was in solitude, let's just go ahead and try this out. Again, in my prior video, there is a list of the modifications that I am using. I mean, I personally even think on these settings the game looks beautiful, so... Okay, so this was my modification installed. And there is a no shadows option, right? Okay, so let's check this out. Not a whole lot to see here. Again, I have no real performance issues with this mod installed, and I got several other mods installed. Let's go ahead and <coughs> fast travel. Let's see where are we? Speak with Israel. Okay. 
So they should have some good shadows to look at. So there you go. Those are those are what your options did right there. Those are all of the values you changed, okay? So you should see an improvement over you know the shadows you had. You'll see a performance increase no matter what. So I recommend this mod to everyone honestly uh, it takes care of shadow striping I mean you're not gonna see that on any of the rocks or anything uh, that's a problem that I had before I made this mod so okay so there's four dawn guard now you see how the light plays off of you know the the shadow that is because of the uh, the blur option we changed I don't know if you remember that it was one of the first ones we changed so that's what that did there and I, I think it looks more realistic I think it looks more magical I, I just like it a lot more so I went ahead and did that so check it out I mean there's no strapping at all everything looks good uh, I've seen you know similar shadows on other games you know that are newer you know so this this will make your shadows look good You might see a little jumping, you know, when the time of day changes, etc. But <coughs> it was worth the performance increase, believe me. Right, so that's that's pretty much what you'll be seeing there. This is definitely the best of both worlds, performance and visual appeal, so. Oh man, there's war going on. The hell? That the guy I was supposed to talk to? Killing motherfuckers right now. Oh shit. No, I'm fucked. Am I dead? Yes. Damn. Alright, well, <coughs> that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. And I hope you can install the mod now. So. Again, thanks to all of my supporters. Please like and subscribe. I am going to be exclusively on Sue, it looks like now. They have a new video service. And again, they pay you just to be a member. So, <coughs> it's the exact same thing as Facebook, but now you get paid for every like, share, and post that you make. So, with the video service, I think, you know, it'll be my best option. I do spend a lot of time on social media. I'm all over the place, so this will be hopefully the best option for me, you know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll keep posting, so add me if you like, subscribe, and uh, join me on Sue. You know, if uh, you want to add me on there, I'll help you out. It's, it's a nice, easy-to-learn social media site, so... I am in the running for the Sue Original One competition, so you'll see my music up on there. Please vote for me. Support me. I'll be on. I'll be making videos. I already made a video supporting Dmitry Viskubov. Uh, I really liked his song. It's really good, so you should check it out. Um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of really talented people on there. So, it's, it's going to be fun. I'll be on there. Make sure to show some love. If you ever need any other modifications, I do have several uploaded. And support your modding communities, you know, like moddb.com, Skyrim, Forge.com, Curse.com. I know there are a few others, you know, and uh, they're not really as well known. So, I really think that you should check those out. <coughs> a lot of the mods that are on there are exclusive. I haven't seen them anywhere else, so... I think you'll have some fun there, especially if you've already seen a lot of what the community has to offer. And again, most of my mods are new, so if you're looking for something new, check them out. And other than that, hey, thanks. Have a great day.